Hello everybody, so for today for dinner I have this beautiful speckled trout that I actually caught this morning and I'm just going to be cooking this up for dinner. So first, let's get started. I have some tin foil here. I'm going to lay down some mushrooms first because I love mushrooms. So I'm just going to lay down a bunch of mushrooms. And I'm going to throw some green onions. And a little bit of the ginger. And actually, something I forgot to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut some slits into this fish. It's not that deep, maybe about a centimeter. Sprinkle some salt. Some pepper. And then we're going to layer fish. Actually, season this a bit too. Just a little bit. Lay the fish on. And then now we're going to start stuffing it. So I have some lemon slices. Stuff it with lemon. And we have some of our green onion. And some ginger more ginger inside. Top with ginger again. Green onion. Now I'm going to carefully wrap this up. Awesome. Now I've Preheated the oven to 375, so I'm gonna wait till that's preheated and then we're gonna throw this in. Okay, so our oven's preheated. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the fish into the oven. And then I'm gonna set a timer for, let's say, you know, my gut's telling me 20 minutes is gonna be good. Okay, so my gut was wrong and it actually needed more than 20 minutes. So I went ahead and I put the fish back in for another 15 minutes. And let's go see how it is now. All right, that looks cooked to me. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out on a plate. Here I have some water uh, that I brought to a boil and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some kelp and bonito flakes in that I used to make dashi the other day. And then I'm just making something that's called second dashi, which is basically use the same stuff that you used to make dashi the first time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boil this for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And then once I take it out, I'm just gonna add in the miso paste and it's that easy. Okay, so I've went ahead and I've removed the kelp and the bonito flakes. So now I'm gonna really quickly add in some mushrooms. As this is boiling. Ow, I got splashed. Okay, add some mushrooms. And then now that's boiling. I'm gonna add the red, I'm adding uh, some red miso paste. Throw in some green onions. And then we're ready to serve it up in a bowl. Okay, so here it is. Our fish. And our miso soup. And then I have a bowl of brown rice right there. All right, I'm so excited. Let's eat this. Okay, so this is my first time trying speckled trout. Let's see how it is. Let's just try it without anything. 
this plane. That's so good. Oh my god. Sorry. That is so good. I didn't even expect to catch this today. So this is fresh caught from this morning. It was swimming. I caught it. And now it's on my plate. Wow. So I was actually targeting a different species today. And I just happened to catch this by chance. Oh my god. I can't get over how good that is. It's... It's just like any white flesh fish, but the texture of it has a very fine flake. It's very soft. It kind of just like melts in your mouth. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So for those of you who follow us on Instagram at Min and Tim, so Instagram.com slash Min and Tim, you probably already noticed uh, I posted a picture of this. It's gonna come out. Uh, the picture is gonna be posted before this video comes out. So if you guys want to keep updated with what we're doing or what we're eating, make sure you follow us there. Man, this is good. Okay. So I'm just so hungry. Go ahead and pour some ponzu onto this fish. The flavor is just so clean. I don't, it's, I mean, it's not like a very unique flavor or anything like that. It's not like, oh, this is like the most unique fish I've ever tasted. It's just a white fleshed fish, but it's just very, very solid. I can see why, like, I looked this up before I ate it, and some people say this is like the best tasting fish in their opinion. I think it's very good tasting. It's probably not the best all-rounder. Like, you can't really beat cod or something when you're frying, but, man. So a little update on my life right now is, um, I'm currently out staying at the beach in Ocean City, Maryland, and um, my semester's all online, so I decided why not just come out, stay at the beach for a while, fish when I'm in our free time. So. I'm planning like a lot of fish related content, hopefully. Um, I'm going out again tomorrow. I've been going out every week, so every day so far um, this week. And I've just been fishing, just fishing every day, trying to trying to catch fish. Hopefully make some fish related, uh, maybe some sushi, maybe some sushi content, we'll see. Um, we'll see if I get lucky, I guess. But yeah, I'm just staying out at the beach, fishing, having a great time. Definitely consider myself very lucky to be able to do the things that I'm doing right now. Okay, I definitely just swallowed a bone. So, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera so you guys don't have to watch me pick up bones. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of format we want these videos to be in. Uh, again, like I said in my last video, this is really just kind of an experiment. Um, kind of some experiment, kind of just practicing um, for the long run. Just practicing making videos, talking to the camera. And uh, yeah, I just thank you all for who are watching this for just supporting us so far. I know it's not great, but trust us, like soon, eventually, it's we're gonna like do some great things. So, <laughs> I'm just really happy right now. Bye, guys.